Welcome to Las Vegas. I'm going to show you the top two locations that I have found for photographing the Las Vegas Strip. The first one is where I am right now. It's really easy to get to. I'm standing on the top level of the parking garage at the Bellagio Hotel. Now, any photo of the Las Vegas Strip, in my view, it needs to include the Eiffel Tower that's behind me and also that Planet Hollywood globe. And even better is that when the Bellagio's fountain show begins, you have kind of a nice view of the water shooting up. Now, you can't see the pool of water because there are trees obstructing it, but when the fountains are shooting the water high in the air, you can see it clearly, especially when it's lit up. So the thing to remember about the Bellagio Fountain Show is that it only occurs on the hour and on the half hour. So every 30 minutes it's occurring and really the money shot is to be here half an hour after sunset. So we have just arrived early. We got some daylight shots just so we have them. And sunset is occurring in about 15 minutes and then 30 minutes after that is going to be the best time to get a Las Vegas strip photo because all the lights will be going and there will still be color in the sky. That's a really big thing. You don't want a blacked out sky. You wanna still see some color in the sky. We've got some clouds up here, really wispy. It's going to be perfect. The lighting right now is perfect. And as you can see, there's still some light in the sky, so we're not waiting too long. And I think that the fountain show at the Bellagio is about to start like just minutes from now. We just rolled some test video and took some test photos. Everything is perfect. And I think this is going to be a 10 out of 10 photo shoot. You know what? It's super exciting. I absolutely love times like this. Like I'm super excited. Can't wait to start shooting photos as soon as those fountains start to go off. It is perfect. Las Vegas. So we are on a quest to get the best possible photo of the skyline of Las Vegas. And I'm going to show you a really cool place that we found where you can really get a great photo of Las Vegas. Now, here's the thing with Las Vegas. It's like they designed this city to make it as difficult as possible for photographers like you and me to actually get a really good skyline shot. So. It seems like the only really good places are from rooftops. Other than that, you're going to be shooting through glass, which makes really bad reflections. So let me show you a photo I got in 2014. It was from the roof of the Tropicana Hotel. Now this is a high resolution panorama and I have sold this photo many times. It's a really nice looking photo, but it was only through a contact through a friend that I was able to get onto the roof of that hotel and I can't get back there now. So we're going to try a second location and then a third location. The second location is something that we tried as soon as we got off the airplane yesterday. Like we flew into Las Vegas, got off the plane, rented this vehicle, and literally 15 minutes later, we were at this location I'm going to show you. And it was just in time for the fountains at the Bellagio to start their big fountain show. So this was the roof of the parking garage at the Bellagio Hotel. It's super easy to get to. Uh, no one told us to go away. Uh, I was kind of expecting security to tell us to go away, but here's what uh, the time lapse looked like and here's what some of the shots looked like. But just keep in mind, this is not the best photo location. The best is yet to come. If you like watching photography adventure videos, that's the type of content I have on this channel. So I would really appreciate it if you would hit the red subscribe button right now and hit the little bell beside it so that you won't miss any of my new videos. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, this place is huge. Come in, come in. Get it with your foot. Okay. Let's see the money shot. Who cares about the room? <laughs> yes! 
We made it. Okay, now here's the best part of all. The best part is that normally when you're in a hotel room and you're doing photography, you have to shoot through the glass and it makes it so difficult when it's nighttime because you get the reflections coming back into your frame. No matter how hard you try, you always get reflections. But at this place, show me the money. This is magical. So what's amazing about this location is that we have an unobstructed view of the Eiffel Tower and we can see those nice curved bottom legs of the tower. We also have an unobstructed view of Planet Hollywood, the blue d globe down on the right. And then kind of the most important thing is that the Bellagio Bell Tower is not a distraction, it's not front and center in the middle of the whole shot, just sort of as a big distraction. And then we have the clean, beautiful, unobstructed view of the Bellagio Fountains. Uh, we've got the sort of the anchor on the left, which will be the Bellagio Hotel itself. That will be the kind of like the, the uh, bookend on the left-hand side of this panorama frame. So we've got a couple of hours before sunset. We'll shoot a time lapse. It's just kind of have some fun and enjoy this view. This is just so incredible. Like, I don't think you can really get better than this for Las Vegas. This is a 10 out of 10 photo composition. Okay, and just before we completely roll on photography here, just check out the suite that we're in. So there's sort of the, the bar, the kitchen, with nice artwork on the wall. And then as I pan into the living room, table with chairs, nice artwork on the wall. This is no ordinary hotel, that is for sure. And then come into the master bedroom, huge TV on the wall, like absolutely massive. Really nice king size bed. An ensuite bathroom that is just beyond words. Just amazing. Yeah, lots of attention to detail here. So this is what we have to live with while we get our beautiful photos. And this will be our money shot. So I got the tripod all tucked in. Now the key thing that I found that's so important when you're setting up a tripod beside a railing is make sure that the tripod is not touching the railing. Always have like a finger space in between. And that's what I've strived to do everywhere here because every time you have your tripod touching a railing, someone uh, who is leaning up against that railing, maybe even in the next suite over, is going to be pushing on the railing and it's going to make your shot blurred. But this is looking just freaking fantastic. It's going to be a really good shoot. Sunset is in about 45 minutes. And what do you do when you're waiting for sunset and you're not ready to shoot photos yet? You shoot time lapse. That's what I'm doing now. I'm approaching what I call the golden minute. You've heard of the golden hour. Well, the golden hour is that beautiful light that usually lasts, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, but then there's the golden minute, and it's that beautiful time when the light in the sky kind of matches the amount of light on the land, and it matches the man-made light that we can see now, and we're just about to hit the golden minute, so I'm gonna stop my time-lapse, get this wide-angle lens off, and then start shooting a pano, and get the golden minute really with a beautiful photo. So, no more time-lapse, time-lapse done. I'm taking a single row pano, which is only about four separate shots, and each exposure is four seconds each. Setting them off with the remote so that I don't touch the camera, make it shake. And um, from what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, this is like the most spectacular shot, like so worth the money to buy this second hotel room. This is definitely gonna be a photo that's going to sell eventually. I'm pretty excited about it. There's nothing better than the feeling when you've got everything set up, everything's falling into place, the camera settings are perfect, the histogram looks good, the sky is exposed perfectly, no blown out highlights, nothing that is not sharp or blurry, everything is tack sharp, in focus. It feels so good, love it. Photo number one, rotate 
snap the second photo, rotate, wait, 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 take it, two and a half seconds now, and rotate again, wait, 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 wait. stop the camera shake, check the histogram again, and that is a beautiful histogram. So you're probably wondering, okay, where exactly am I standing right now to get this perfect shot of the Las Vegas Strip? So you may know the hotel that we're at and you can figure that out, but what you don't know is the floor that we're on or where we are in the orientation of the entire building. It took so much research and figuring out in order to get the right floor. Otherwise you're too high and it looks like a helicopter shot. Or if you're too low, you get this Bellagio bell tower uh, smack dab in the middle of your shot and it ruins the whole thing. It's a big distraction. So if this is something that you're interested in, then click the link in the description. Watch my free web class. It's super high value content and it's going to teach you the four steps that I use to be able to take literally award-winning photos and you can use the same system as well. So click the link, watch the free web class and you'll know exactly how to take these kinds of shots. I gotta get back to shooting now.